Welcome to the weekly prayer time for Northview United Methodist Church for the week of January the 29th. I'm Pastor Doug. Our scripture this week is Matthew 5, verses 1 to 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Those of you watching on social media, please post your joys, concerns, and prayer updates in the comment section below. You can also text, private message, email, or call me with those, and they will be included in our next prayer time. Mary Hobbs Funeral Service will be here at Northview on Monday at 2 o'clock with visitation the hour prior. No one gave me any specific joys this week, so I'm going to pause for five seconds and invite you out loud to share what you're joyful for. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. For our prayer concerns, prayers for Billy and Debbie Ginger. Judy Oppenkar has breast cancer. She says it's a rare type, but one that is treatable. Susie Shelton is still suffering with back trouble. Traveling mercies for Charlie and Twyla Briscoe as they travel to Kansas for her brother-in-law Steve Cloud's funeral. Continued prayers for Dennis and Cheryl Carter as they go to UVA to search for answers to Dennis's illness. Lynn Bryant wrote, Pray for Dr. Ng and his staff and me as I have cataract surgery on one eye Wednesday and the other eye on Monday. Connie Ragland's sister Daphne, who lives in Lynchburg, has fallen. Remember Marianne Morgan, who is in rehab at Friendship, she appreciates visits from no few people. And condolences and prayers for the Reverend Terry Clark of St. Mark United Bethes Church in Daleville. His father, William, passed away. Praying for the people of Ukraine and the surrounding region. Also, lifting up any unspoken concerns on your hearts and minds this week. Our prayer is based on our gospel passage from Matthew chapter 5. Rabbi, you invited each of us to be your disciples. Through prayer, meditation, and worship, we became part of your inner circle. Teach us how to behave like disciples. Some of us were hopeless. We were laid low and thought we could never be lifted up. Through the power of your resurrection, we have arisen to new life. Many who have worshipped within our sanctuary are no longer present in the flesh. The Holy Spirit has connected us to the communion of the saints. Life everlasting is the reward made available because of your grace. We are comforted by those who are a part of this fellowship. Thank you for the men and women who work to support this church and its ministries with their gifts and humble presence. Reveal the mysteries of your spirit as we worship pray, explore the scriptures, and practice spiritual disciplines together. Forgive us for times we have been short-tempered and judgmental with our neighbors. Make this congregation a community of accountability as we seek to live according to your will. Speak through us as we invite others to experience your reconciling love. Cleanse us of all unrighteousness and make our hearts pure. Our world is hostile and violent at times. Make each of us an instrument of your peace. 
when we work for peace, others may respond with anger. Give us the tenacity of the prophets who boldly proclaimed your message for the people. Continue to teach and guide us because we have so much to learn from you. Hear us now as we offer the prayer you taught the disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.